Welcome to VHS Night, Pyramid Scheme Edition. Money absolutely cannot buy you happiness. But it has been known to cause an occasional smile. This is a tape I found in this three-pack holder of VHS tapes, which unfortunately the plastic is degrading and leaving an oily film on everything you put in it. So unfortunately this will need to be thrown away. It had three VHS tapes in it. Two of them were just TV off-air recordings, nothing really special. But this one, I saw this label here, not even put on straight. Your turn to win, or you turn to win. I just noticed that. It doesn't even spell it right. You turn to win. Roman numeral one, original 36 minute tape. And if this is the original, I hate to see what the copies look like because the colors are all blown out and the audio is incredibly overmodulated. That's not my fault. That's how bad it sounds on this tape. There's nothing I can do about it. But what's on this tape is a promotional video for a company called New Skin International, which was a multi-level marketing company selling skincare products. And they're actually still in business today, believe it or not. But they've been under federal and state investigation for deceptive business practices on and off all the way since 1992. And in 2014, the Chinese government sued them for being a suspected illegal pyramid scheme. And they had to pay 47 million dollars to sell that case and another three quarters of million dollars when they got caught bribing a top Chinese official. So yeah, a very uh, trustworthy company behind this. And as you watch this, you notice they talk about this product, this new skin product, but they never show it. They never show the product they're supposed to be selling. It's not about selling the product. It's all about selling the selling. So it's a classic multi-level marketing scheme and they promise that you're gonna make so much money you'll never have to work a regular job again. But most people who try these kinds of schemes end up losing money. And it's obviously been going on for decades since this tape is probably from the late 80s or early 90s. But enough talking, let's take a look at this VHS tape. And I'll warn you again about the terribly bad audio quality. And they play about 30 seconds of the Steve Winwood song, Finer Things, which I'll have to overdub, not only to avoid a copyright claim, but also to keep your ears from bleeding. So this is Your Turn to Win, original 36 minute tape from late 80s or early 90s on VHS Night. Hello. It's our pleasure to be able to introduce you to a phenomenal job opportunity. An opportunity with a company willing to pay individuals incredible amounts of money for sales and promotion. The name of our company is New Skin International. In this video presentation, you're going to be introduced to the New Skin opportunity. You'll get a chance to look at our product line, a chance to meet our management team, a chance to examine our marketing plan. You're going to see why people just like you are able to make $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 a month and more through the New Skin opportunity. How would you like to make more money in a month than the average American makes in an entire year. Sound impossible? It's not. We're doing it. A lot of people are doing it. And so can you. Because now it's your turn. New Skins says around 18% of active distributors earned commission checks, which is actually worse than it sounds because active distributors represent only around 36% of total distributors. So if you do the math, which they conveniently didn't, that would mean that 93% of all New Skin distributors receive zero commissions from the company in an average month. So even if you have never heard of New Skin before, it may be paying you just as much as it does 93% of all its distributors. Hi, I'm Dennis Clifton. And I'm delighted to be able to tell you a little bit about New Skin International. When I first heard about New Skin, I was teaching at the University of Texas at Austin, and I was completing my doctorate degree in instructional technologies and research. And naturally, I was very skeptical when I heard about the huge commissions that were being generated by individuals within New Skin. So I decided to apply the skills that I had developed over the years in research, and I looked at New Skin with a very critical eye. I saw almost immediately that what we have here is not some kind of Mickey Mouse little makeup company. New Skin International is a company that's literally on the cutting edge of high-tech product development. 
with windows into four explosive and dynamic markets. I saw that NewScan had assembled one of the finest management teams in the history of network marketing with a proven track record of success that's there for anybody to look at. And this is a team that has the financial backing and management know-how to be able to acquire exclusivity on unique products on an international scale. And most importantly, I saw that NewSkin had positioned themselves very solidly within the middle of huge multi-billion dollar markets. And that means money and lots of it. And the more I looked at NewSkin International, the more I became convinced with absolute certainty that if I applied myself, that I could be financially set for life within 10 to 24 months. And that's exactly what's happened for me, for my brother, for dozens of other people that we've gotten involved in this program. Now, if the thought of making more money than you've ever made in your life means anything to you, then you need to listen very carefully to what we have to say, because this is not a joke. This is very serious business. We have people in our organization right now that are making five, ten, twenty-five thousand dollars a month and more. And if you're willing to apply yourself, New Skin can meet or exceed whatever dreams you bring to the table. Hi, I'm David Clifton. You know, like most Americans my age, I've spent the last ten or fifteen years of my life stalking a very elusive animal called security. In 1973, at the age of 21, I joined the Houston Police Department. And when I did, I thought I was locking into a career with a secure future. I had a paycheck coming every two weeks. The city bought and paid for my insurance. I got a two-week vacation every year. Not only that, I got the opportunity to contribute toward a pension plan that would allow me to retire after 20 years. And then it was going to take care of me and let me enjoy my golden years in style. Well, it's funny how our perceptions of security change over the years. Thirteen years into that secure career, there had been 13 police officers killed in the line of duty in Houston, and some of them were very good friends of mine. The closer I got to retirement, the closer I began to scrutinize that retirement plan, and I saw that it was full of holes. I'd be able to retire after 20 years of service on 30% base pay, and it didn't take me long to figure out that 30% of my base pay would not have afforded me any kind of financial dignity in retirement. And so I found myself in the position most Americans find themselves today. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired when I was introduced to the New Skin opportunity. Now, this is an opportunity that's had a dramatic impact in the quality of my life. It's literally reversed the poles of my life. I want you to take a hard look at this opportunity. I think if you do, you'll see, like myself and so many others, that this is an opportunity that can grant you access to the security you've been searching for. So if you'll step with me around our office, we'll get started. Imagine having the kind of lifestyle where you could do whatever you wanted to do whenever you wanted to do it and try to imagine if you can earning the kind of money you've always dreamed about how would you live what would you do with all that money but more importantly what would you be willing to do right now to achieve that income level and lifestyle for yourself I mentioned that NewSkin has windows into four explosive and dynamic markets. Now, the markets that we represent take advantage of what I believe to be the most important phenomenon of our time, a revolutionary trend of American culture represented by over 76 million Americans who are moving from young adulthood into middle age and beyond. I don't know if you're aware of it, but fully one-third of all Americans living today was born between 1946 and 1964. And we refer to these individuals as baby boomers. And the baby boomers have literally dominated American culture for over 40 years because at each stage of their lives, the needs and desires of the baby boomers have become the dominant concerns of American business and popular culture as well. Now, two questions arise. First of all, what does this have to do with New Skin International? And secondly, and more specifically, what does this have to do with you making money? Now, to fully answer these questions, we're going to have to look at the history of the rising tide of the baby boomers and how this phenomenon has literally driven the markets within which New Skin has solidly positioned itself. To understand the impact the boomers have had on American business and culture, all we have to do is chronicle the history of the boomers from birth to the present day. This generational mass has been likened by people who study such phenomenon to a pig moving through a python. This bulge of people, 76 million strong, has dominated American culture and business for over 40 years. When the boomers arrived, the diaper and baby food industries flourished. As the boomers suffered scraped knees and runny noses, a massive pediatric establishment arose and Dr. Spock became a national hero. When the boomers hit school age in the 50s, 
Many schools went into double sessions. In 1957 alone, there were more elementary schools built than in any year before or since. There was also a boom in the sales of hula hoops, skateboards, frisbees, and slinkies. TV shows foreign about kids from The Mouseketeers and Little Rascal, Captain Kangaroo and Ozzie and Harriet, to My Three Sons and Father Knows Best became central to the television industry. We had become a child-focused nation. As the boomers became teenagers, the bulge in the school systems uh, edged upward. Between 1950 and 1975, high school populations doubled. Following this trend, more high schools were built in 1967 than in any year before or since. These teenagers bought unprecedented quantities of soft drinks, movie tickets, and records. They also gobbled up vast quantities of fast foods, making millionaires out of the founders of McDonald's, Jack in the Box, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Then the kids went to college. The number of college students rose from 3.2 million in 1965 to 9 million in 1975. Rolling Stone became the new publishing success, and rock and roll flourished. With the popularization of marijuana, the profit from zigzag cigarette papers rose by 25% a year, every year for a decade. As the boomers matured, they began to focus intensely on careers and families. The hippies became the yuppies. Publications such as the Wall Street Journal, Money, Forbes and Fortune magazine entered periods of record growth, while Rolling Stone and its imitators were either forced to retrench or fold. Daycare centers became a very hot political issue as the boomers became parents. The baby boomers are not aimlessly wandering through an unknown landscape of life patterns. They're moving forward, second by second and inch by inch, along the one directional highway of the human lifespan. If you can anticipate the movement of that lifespan migration, you can literally see the future. Now this rise of the baby boomers is absolutely the most significant trend of our time. And if you'd like to do a little bit more research on it, I suggest this book. It's written by Dr. Ken Dijtwald, and it's called The Age Wave. And you can pick this up at just about any bookstore today. It's been on the bestseller list uh, for about eight months now. And uh, one of the most important points that I think he makes in this book is this. He says, the oldest of the baby boomers are now in their fifth decade. What will America look and feel like as the boomers migrate through their 40s, 50s, and 60s? What will a midlife crisis be like when it's multiplied by 76 million? What will happen when this generation decides that it doesn't like baldness and wrinkles, when it decides not to grow old? Well, I can tell you exactly what will happen because it's happening right now. There's an absolute explosion taking place right now, and Americans are spending more on personal care products today than at any other time in our history. Now, to understand how significant this trend is, all you have to do is a little research into the explosive markets that we represent. For example, we have a product called Nutriol. It's being used currently by tens of thousands of individuals and has been gathering results that are so hair-raising and dramatic that I can't even talk about it on this videotape. You simply would not believe me. This product, which we have obtained exclusive marketing rights for here in the United States, has garnered hundreds of articles in newspapers and major magazines, magazines like Sports and Fitness, Hair International News, Health World, Rob Report, and many, many others. And it's like Dan Dorfman said in a recent issue of New Yorker magazine, and I quote, you may not have heard of Nutriol yet, but you will, end quote. Now, Dan Dorfman knows exactly what he's talking about because Wall Street analysts have estimated the potential size of the market that Nutriol has penetrated to be in excess of four to five billion dollars annually. And right now there's virtually no competitors for this product and we have exclusive marketing rights for the Nutriol. You simply cannot get it anywhere else. So ask the person that loaned you this videotape for all the background information on Nutriol. It is a phenomenal product but it's only one of dozens of products that we market. Very advanced products, high-tech, anti-aging products that have penetrated these markets that we've been talking about. Products that actually make you look and feel years younger. And while we're on the subject of looking younger, we have another product that New Skin has exclusive marketing rights to. New Skin's facelift is a product that stands alone in this high-tech industry of anti-aging. New Skin's facial lift will actually take five to 10 years off your appearance in just a matter of minutes. It's a non-surgical approach to younger looking skin. It increases the skin's tone and elasticity. The market for this product in America has been estimated at over $3 billion annually. 
We can illustrate the marketing power of a product like our non-surgical facelift by looking at the history of a drug called Retin-A. Retin-A was marketed as an acne cream here in America for over 16 years. During that 16-year period, it amassed sales of $33 million. The year it was announced that Retin-A was also effective in easing lines and wrinkles off the face, sales of Retin-A increased from $33 million to $115 million in a single year. Now, Retin-A is a dangerous drug with significant side effects, available by prescription only. Our product is all natural with absolutely no side effects, clearly superior to anything in the market today. The new skin opportunity actually involves three specific elements. Element number one, multi-level. Multi-level marketing as an industry is coming of age. Multi-level sales are increasing at the rate of about 20% a year. Sales now top 20 billion annually. That's half the retail sales volume of Sears and Roebuck. Multi-level marketing is predicted to be the primary method by which product enters the marketplace by the mid-1990s. It is literally an industry whose time has come. It's about to mature. The second element involved in this new skin opportunity is the aging of the baby boomers. You know, when a few thousand people read a book or see a movie, it's no big deal, that's a fad, and fads come and fads go, and you don't build stable business on fads. But when 76 million people, as a block, decide on a specific course of action, that's a revolution, that's a trend. And people that possess the ability to see these trends coming possess the ability to become wealthy. Baby boomers are obsessed with maintaining their youth and appearance. That obsession is going to become even more intense as we move into the 90s. The baby boomers are predicted to be the first generation in history that takes 100 years to turn 50. Boomers are committed to taking their youth into old age with them, and we've got the products that can enable them to do just that, and that's a second element. The third element in this new skin opportunity is the fact that we're about to embark upon the most dramatic period of growth in the history of New Skin International. I don't know what the probabilities are of three elements, this dynamic, coming to fruition at the same time, but they must be astronomical. You've got multi-level marketing coming of age. You've got the baby boomers beginning to age. And at the same exact point in history, you've got New Skin moving through momentum. I don't think that we'll ever see another opportunity in our lifetimes that encapsulates three elements, this dynamic and this explosive. In order for us to be able to understand how to take these dynamic products and convert them into an income stream, it's necessary that we look at and examine the promotional strategy that's employed by New Skin International. New Skin uses a, a system of marketing known as network marketing. Now, this term networking is a popular term that was coined by John Naisbeth in his best-selling book, Megatrends. And in this book, he talks all about this system of marketing and how it's literally changing the face of American industry today. But the easiest way to understand network marketing is to compare it against traditional business. Now, we know that in any form of business, your earnings are a function of sales and promotion. Either you're selling a product, you're selling a service, or you're selling yourself so that your earnings are going to be based on those sales. Now let's just say that this is you as the owner of your own business. In traditional business, the first thing that you're going to do is go out and hire three, four, five, six, seven people, and you're going to train and manage those people to run your business. And the money that you make is going to be off of commissions that are generated by those sales. Now, it's not hard to look down the line here a couple of years and see that a year or two from now, there's going to be a cap on what I'm gonna be able to earn because there are just so many hours in a day and there's just so much that one individual can do. And if I wanna double my earnings, what do I have to do? I have to double the amount of people that I train and manage on a daily basis. That growth is linear. It occurs on one level at a time. And uh, your commissions are drawn in traditional business based on direct involvement with those people that you've recruited and trained, and that's why that these dealerships, automobile dealerships and real estate companies, these types of traditional businesses rarely get over 30 to 100 people. And that's because it's very, very difficult to successfully train or manage any more than that yourself. Now let's look over at networking and see how it's dramatically different. Although it begins in a very similar way, you recruit, train and manage five, six, seven, eight people on your front line, 
This business is a business of duplication. Now, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to make money in this business. It's very, very simple. And it's so simple, in fact, that those people that you recruit, train, and manage are able to duplicate your efforts very easily. And they go out and they recruit, train, and manage other individuals. And those people go out and recruit, train, and manage other individuals. And the key to the success of network marketing is that these groups grow very, very, very large in a relatively short period of time. And a successful sales organization in network marketing can be anywhere from 500 to 20,000 people. Now, some people tend to look at this business in a very small light, but this is big, big business. For example, look at Amway, a very successful multi-level marketing company. They did $1.8 billion of annual production last year. Now, this is a company that started with soap and shoe polish, but they did almost $2 billion in annualized production last year. Now, you can take all of your Fortune 500 companies, stack them up against $2 billion in annual production, and over half of them are going to come up short next to Amway. Look at another fine multi-level company, A.L. Williams. Uh, they have created over 2,500 millionaires in their history. They, in 10 very short years, were able to bypass New York Life and Metropolitan, both put together in the sale of term life insurance. And those are companies that had been in business for over 100 years apiece. A.L. Williams was able to do that in 10 years. And it's not because the policy that they sold was anything extraordinary. You could get that kind of policy anywhere. It was because of this system and the dynamics of that system that created such huge earnings for that company. Now, the most exciting thing about these network marketing companies is that these organizations grow very, very rapidly, and they grow on more than one dimension at a time, more than one level. That's why they're commonly called multi-level marketing. And because you were the original causal factor or the point of origin for that growth, you receive a commission based on that entire production curve as large as it grows. And that can create some very, very serious money. But exactly how do these companies grow? How do these organizations grow so quickly? Well, let's take a look at it and we'll see. Let's just say that you are able to sponsor five people. You can sponsor five people. I think anybody can find five people that are interested in earning the kinds of money that we're talking about. And you're going to teach those five people to go out and sponsor five people, and so on and so forth and so on, over a period of five months. At the end of those five months, you're going to have an incredible amount of salespeople in your organization, actually over 4,000. Now, this business is no different than any other business, be it insurance or automobile uh, dealerships. There is a serious attrition rate. Uh, try to call the guy that sold you your car three months ago. You'll find that he's probably moved on to another company, and this business is no different. So we figured in about a 75% attrition factor. So if you take those 4,000 salespeople and reduce them by 75%, you're going to end up with 1,000 salespeople. Now look at this. 1,000 salespeople in this organization just doing minimum sales productions of only $100 a month, and that represents about two retail customers, is going to get you a group volume of over $100,000. And your executive bonus with New Skin, your commission on that $100,000 is going to be 14%. In other words, you're going to make $14,000 a month. And uh, that's $168,000 a year, and that's some pretty exciting money. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's ridiculous. Nobody can do that. Well, I'm sorry. My brother and I did it. My sponsor did it. And a lot of other people are doing it right now. Now, I realize that most people are not going to be able to work this program on a full-time basis. But let's just take a look and see what can happen with someone who just gets involved on a part-time basis and is only able to commit a limited amount of time to this program, let's see what can happen over an extended period of time. Let's say that you're just able to sponsor one person a month, just one person a month, and that person is able to go out and sponsor one person a month themselves. And you continue this chain and this duplication over the course of one year. At the end of a year, you're going to incredibly have over 8,000 people in your organization. Again, let's take away 75% of them because of attrition so that three out of four of those people that you've sponsored and the people that you've sponsored and the people that they've sponsored, at the end of a year, three out of four of them have quit. That's still going to leave you with 2,048 salespeople in your organization. 
given minimum sales productions, again, of $100 a month, your bonus on $204,800 is going to be $28,672 a month. Now that's incredible, but let's really shoot some holes in this. Uh, most people just absolutely cannot conceive of making money like that, so let's take a very, very harsh look at this, and let's say that another 75% drop out of the program. That's going to leave us with a total of 94% attrition. After all of that, we've still got 512 salespeople. If they're doing minimum sales productions of $100 a month, we're still doing $51,200 of group volume, and as an executive in New Skin, your bonus is going to be 14% on that, or a monthly net of $7,168. Now, just in case you're interested, that's $85,000 a year. Now, you're not going to be living like Donald Trump on $85,000 a year, but I can tell you this, you're going to be in the top 1% of all wage earners on the planet. And uh, that's pretty exciting to me. But you know what's even more exciting? is the position that New Skin International currently enjoys in the marketplace right now. now. David's going to come on and he's going to talk about the marketing position of New Skin and the success factors that have led up to that positioning. I want to share some information that will give you a feel of the market position that New Skin International currently enjoys. In business, there are four phases of growth. Foundation, concentration, momentum, stability. This is true in linear as well as multi-level. Foundation phase lasts anywhere from six months to a year. Concentration, two to four years. Momentum, two to four years. Stability then lasts for the life of the company. New Skin currently is in the final stages of concentration, about to shift gears into momentum. Now, there's a very dramatic point these companies reach in their growth. We call that point critical mass. A company is said to have hit critical mass when they amass sales of $50 million in annualized production. At that point, the products or the program become popularized. The company literally bursts on the scene nationally, and the program or products become market-driven. We'll look at some examples of companies that have hit critical mass, and you'll be able to see immediately what a dramatic event and milestone it is in the company's growth. Twenty years ago, Nobody ever dreamed that they'd give $75 or $100 for a pair of blue jeans. But when Calvin Klein hit critical mass, that company literally burst on the scene nationally, and those designer jeans became a hot ticket item. Calvin Klein went from $50 million to $250 million in annualized production in just 18 months. 20 years ago, nobody dreamed they'd ever give $75 or $100 for a pair of tennis shoes. But when Reebok hit $50 million in annualized production, those tennis shoes became a hot ticket item. My son's three years old, he's already had three pair. Everybody's got to have a pair of Reeboks. That company went from 50 million to 510 million in 18 months. An example of a multi-level company that hit critical mass would be Herbalife. Once Herbalife hit 50 million in annualized production, they went from 50 million to 151 million the very next year. If you were to look at our growth curve over the past four or five years, it would appear something like this on our chart. Nothing dramatic, but it's been good, solid, steady, consistent growth. But when one of these companies hits critical mass, that growth curve goes vertical, goes straight up for the next three to four years. During this three to four year period, these companies will put on two thirds of their distributor force, which means over the next three to four years, between 600 and 700,000 men and women are going to come into the New Skin program. And if you're in this program, in the trenches, a good portion of them will be in your own sales organization. If this were stock on the open market, you wouldn't want to buy stock down here because you'd have to hold on to that stock too long to realize a profit. And you wouldn't want to buy stock up here because your profit ceiling's almost been reached. If this were stock on the open market, you'd want to buy stock right here. And this is exactly the point that New Skin International is today. Now, when we got involved in this business, we learned very quickly that there are a very select set of criteria these programs should meet before you should ever consider getting involved in a program like this. We call these uh, criteria success factors. These success factors are taught in most major universities and business schools all across the United States today. What we want to do is stack the new skin opportunity up against these success factors, and let's see how we measure up. The first success factor is that you need company stability. The company needs to be at least 18 months old. During the first 18 months in a multi-level company's uh, uh, development, between 94 and 100 of these multi-level companies go out of business. Only one in a thousand makes it to the fifth year. New Skin turned five years old June of 1989. You need a management integrity. You need a management team that is committed 
to giving you the time you need to build your business, committed to long-term stable growth. Dennis and I know the people at NewSkin, the management team. We've never seen a more dedicated and committed uh, group of young men and women. They are committed to your success. When they talk about NewSkin, they don't talk in terms of next week or next year. They talk in terms of the 21st century. So these are men and women that are absolutely committed to long-term stable growth. And we've got credibility with NewSkin. We've got an established five-year track record. You know, there's over 3,700 multi-level companies in the United States. You could count on the fingers of one hand the number of companies that are doing business on a debt-free basis. New Skin is one of them. So we meet the first criteria. The second success factor is uh, unique products. You need products that are consumable. There's a lot of these programs out there today that are dealing in non-consumables, anything from uh, water filters to 3D cameras. Every one of those programs that's marketing a non-consumable product is destined to fail. If you study the history of the industry, the industry is going to tell you you need consumable products, products that people are going to use up and uh, need to reorder next month. If the products are unique, it's a bonus factor. If you examine the new skin product line, you'll see that we have products that possess the ability not only to penetrate, but to capture markets that have been estimated in the billions annually. So new skin meets the second uh, success factor. The third factor is timing. You've got to get into one of these organizations in the ground floor. They uh, say that ground floor in an organization like this is considered to be one half of 1% of the population of the country. In America, that's one million people. What that means is if you can find a company that is committed to long-term stability, a company with unique uh, consumable products, and you're one of the first one million people in that program, you're said to be in the ground floor. That's a good, solid opportunity. If you're one of the first 500,000 people in a program like that, you're said to be leading edge. If you're one of the first 150,000 people in a program like that, that's said to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. New Skin currently has approximately 40,000 distributors in the United States and Puerto Rico. We're about 4% into that ground floor growth curve. The time is right for you to get involved with New Skin International. Now I realize that most people are never going to be able to make the kind of money that David and I have been talking about. Because frankly, most Americans have become like trained circus fleas. You know how they train fleas for a circus? They take them and they put them in a jar, and then they take a rubber lid and they put it over the top of that jar, and they poke some holes in the top of the lid so that the fleas can breathe, and those fleas start jumping up and down, and they keep bumping their heads on the top of that jar. And this happens again and again and again and again until finally the fleas figure out that if I just don't jump too high, I won't bump my head. And they jump up and where they're just almost touching the top of that jar. And when you get them to that point, then you can take the lid off and you can throw it away. And those fleas will never, ever jump out of that jar. In fact, they'll stay in that jar until they die. And most of us are like that, aren't we? We don't want to change. We don't want to struggle. Because every time that we try, we bump our heads. And so rather than continuing to try, we just stay in our jars. And we call this being on the 40-year plan and it's characterized by an unfortunate tendency in the workplace. And it begins about the time that you're age 25. See, by 25, most of us know what we're gonna do, or at least we've uh, consigned ourselves to some particular field of endeavor. And then for the next 40 years, we go back and forth to a job, back and forth and back and forth, day in and day out, sometimes on Saturday, sometimes on Sunday back and forth like a rat in a treadmill, hurrying, scurrying, but never, ever getting anywhere. Now, we all know about it. We all joke about it, but we stay in it. Why? Because we've embraced the lie of job security, the lie that says, get a job, put in your time, retire, you'll be taken care of. Well, you know that's not true. And yet every morning, millions of Americans get up before the sun comes up, get dressed and go off to jobs that they hate. Why? Because they believe the lie. They believe that they don't control their future. Oh, but they'll say, hey, I get a paid vacation once a year. I can take my wife and my kids to Disneyland. Oh, that's great. You can stand in line for two hours to ride Dumbo because every other poor sap that got their paid vacation is there in the second week of August too. And so you come home from your vacation, you're tired, you're stressed, you're broke. What do you do? You get back in the rat race, back and forth and back and forth. And in this back and forth process, something very noticeable begins to happen. You start slowing down. You stop believing in yourself. You stop taking risks. And ultimately, you consign yourself to living a life of mediocrity. 
or at best, normalcy. And you never jump out of your jar. Now, I can talk about the 40-year plan because I was on it. My brother was on it. And hundreds of other people just like you were on it. But New Skin absolutely blew the lid off. And it can do the same for you if you've got what it takes. I love what Ralph Waldo Emerson said. He said, it's fine to build your castles in the air. Now put foundations under them. You want to do it? You want to get off the 40-year plan? Now's the time to start. You know, everything Dennis said about that 40-year plan is absolutely true. I know because I was on it. After policing in Houston for 14 years, I was absolutely burned out. When I began to investigate my options, I saw immediately that in traditional business, these companies out here put more faith in paper than they do people. They'll stack a man or a woman's life up against a set of artificial standards, things like job experience and college degrees and earning history, things that don't have anything to do with who we are as people. But they'll judge our lives by these artificial standards and tell us how much we're worth to the penny. Well, the fallacy behind that is that there's never been a test developed that can accurately measure the capacity of the human heart. And with New Skin, it's your heart that's important. New Skin is a company that puts its faith in people and not paper. It's a company that knows how to reward commitment and hard work and loyalty. I hope you give this program a very serious look, a very hard look. I think if you do, you'll find, like me and so many others, that New Skin is a program that can take you off of that 40-year plan. More importantly, it can keep you off of that 40-year plan for the rest of your life. You know, David and I have been talking a lot about making money, and I want you to understand one thing. Money absolutely cannot buy you happiness. But it has been known to cause an occasional smile. Yeah.